Unregistered weapons detected. Contestation field engaged. So this is Dr. Freeman. At last. I wish I could say this was a pleasant surprise, but rather a surprise, but I can surely agree very pleasant. Well, I am nothing if not pragmatic. Dr. Freeman, I...
Tell me, Dr. Freeman, if you can. You have destroyed so much. What is it exactly that you have created? Can you name even one thing? I thought not. for humanity's survival. And not as we have narrowly defined ourselves, but as something greater than we could ever imagine. Something we can now only begin to glimpse.
I'll take him from here. Don't struggle. It's no use. Until you're where he wants you, there's nothing you can do. I'm sorry, Gordon. by vast meteorological intelligences. Worlds stretched thin across the membranes where the dimensions intersect. Impossible to describe with our limited vocabulary. What I've seen is also beyond words, Breen. Genocide. Indescribable evil. Good God. Well, if it isn't Gordon Freeman at last. What's this? I'll put it over there. You have my gratitude, Doctor. First you lead me straight to the doorstep of my oldest friend, and then you deliver yourself. If I'd known you were going to come straight up to my office, I wouldn't have bothered hunting you in the first place. Having both of you in my keeping ensures I can dictate the terms of any bargain I care to make with a combine. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Breen. Huh. Wallace. Yes, Judith, what is it? The bargain we should be making is for Eli's life so he can continue his research. Thanks to you, we have everything we need in that regard. You're more than qualified to finish his research yourself. What neither you nor I can do is convince that rabble in the streets to give up their senseless struggle. Yet Eli refuses to speak the words that would save them all. Save them? For what? Eli, if you won't do the right thing for the good of all people, maybe you'll do it for one of them. Alex, honey... Dad. Gordon? No. God damn you, Breen, you let her go. That's all up to you, my old friend. Will you let your stubborn short-sightedness doom the entire species, or will you give your child the chance her mother never had? <laughs> How dare you even mention her! Alex, my dear, you have your mother's eyes, but your father's stubborn nature. You haven't seen a bit of it yet. Really? Well, let's see how well it serves you on the far side of a combined portal. Go ahead, Bree. <laughs> if that's the worst you can do, send us both through your portal. Oh, it's hardly the worst, but you might